So today we bring this beautiful house, which is across the street from the water. It has a double garage, pool, bar, open kitchen, high ceilings. This is located in David Harbor and to present this beautiful listing we have again Mr. 305, Juan Zuluaga. <laughs> Ipe, again, always a pleasure to have you. Uh, I love how you present these uh, properties in uh, you, uh, you highlight the most important things about this house, which you just mentioned. Uh, so let me just add a few things to it. What else I'm missing from? Mm -hmm. Okay. So besides all that is that it's a corner unit. Uh, as you mentioned, it's in the Davis Harbor area. But above all that is that the house was originally built in 1991, which is a very important date because that's when Hurricane Andrew hit Miami. So that is the benchmark of, of construction, of how things were done before and after. So little things um, like the elevation of the foundation of the house. I can see the, highs, the house is elevated. That is one of the main points of this house. Uh, the house is above uh, 10 feet of uh, elevation, which is huge for the flood factor, for insurance and for flooding period. So that's probably the single most important part of this property besides the beautiful design uh, that was just incorporated into the property. Uh, being a corner unit, uh, you have no neighbors, only neighbors to one side, and, uh, and there's a small easement that just makes the property feel more larger than, um, than the square footage that it has, which is just shy of 11,000 square feet, which for the area is quite large. Um, another important uh, attribute or, or, or quality of this home is that it's a single story. Uh, it's very hard to find a house that houses four bedrooms, three and a half bath, two car garage, pool, covered terrace, and, and a single story. That's why we usually see two stories or split floor plans because they, in smarter lots, you can have that square footage under AC if you have, if you're building vertical. How big but, is the lot? Uh, 10,800 square feet. And the house, it's, um, it's just shy of 3,000 square feet. It's 2,980, um, including the garage, which has air conditioning. And, um, but also important that it's got the entire perimeter of the property has a coral wall. Very clever. The developer um, has used this in other properties, much higher in, or higher value. And, uh, and, it, it, and it, was, it had a very positive feedback. So it was incorporated in this property to give it a compound feel. So even though it's a very safe neighborhood, as a matter of fact, I live very close by, so I can really attest to that. Um, and, uh, but having that, uh, compound feel gives you that extra layer of safety that many people nowadays and privacy that many people nowadays look for. And you have also access from one side of the house and also from the front because it's a corner lot. That is correct. Yes. You, um, being that it's a corner lot. So you have access from the East that leads directly to the oversized two car garage has its own gate. And then in the front. You have the circular, uh, half moon uh, circular driveway uh, with two gates, one for entry and one for exit, which are motorized. So it's a click of a button coming to your property. That's very nice. And also the, the floor plan, like as you can see, you have one of the, the main bedrooms is in this side and you have the other bedrooms on the other side. So it's split floor plan with a Jack and Jill. And you also have this room right here that connects with the pool. So you can use that restroom as a, that's Cabana bath. Cabana pool. Mm -hmm. And the outside, it's beautiful what they create here in the outside patio. All this area that we have next to it is the Miami feeling. It's, that, it's that's great. what the, uh, the theme uh, that the house was striving for. Uh, a Miami tropical feel. As a matter of fact, as I'm talking to you right now, I'm seeing the sway of the palm trees and the whole time from this uh, vantage point, I'm like, wow, this is, looks very amazing. You know, if you, you can see the palm trees just swaying. Actually, so, I see it from this there side you go. too. So we have a nice uh, contemporary uh, farm, contemporary style in here. Um, and, uh, and, but then, you know, wherever you look, you have greenery 
in uh, which is being utilized not only for privacy but also to give it that warm feel that you're in a tropical location and funny enough you mentioned that this property is one uh, one street away or one house away from the bay uh, but you will notice that when you're in the garage uh, like I like to sit in my garage to be honest uh, if you sit in the garage and you look out the door you have ocean view from you your can garage see which the is bay right there <laughs> it has a little path that you can just walk on be in front of the bay in one minute. Yes, and that's an easement as well. So you'll never have anybody build there. So literally, you are just feet away. So that belongs from, just to the city. Correct. And you have your feet, just a few feet away from um, sitting, looking at the open bay. The layout, the way that you have two, three separate uh, living room areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Common areas. Plus the open kitchen make this area very open like it makes it huge so it looks bigger the house definitely looks bigger than it is i think yeah and more important than looking bigger it feels bigger <laughs> uh so uh nowadays uh, the open concept is a big thing and you utilize furniture in order in order to be able to depict the different areas or ambiences that you like and this house is a perfect example for that where you have three different sitting areas uh formal dining but everything is interconnected or connected directly to the kitchen because most times you will probably have guests on the kitchen uh cooking um doing uh okay so we're back we actually have to stop because we are in an open house right now and we actually have uh, clients that were, they came to see the property and we're gonna continue now. So we were talking about the kitchen, I think. <laughs> so what we were, um, I remember what we were kind of discussing is that the kitchen here, it's, it's, uh, it's pivotal because it's connected to all the different common areas that you were mentioning that people tend to use furniture to uh, accommodate, you know, whatever, you know, lifestyle they have. So right now, you know, there's a TV, two TV areas, formal dining, kind of read area, but still everything is in close proximity to the kitchen to where if you're, you know, cooking, having a gathering, everything is... You, you, you have a visual for all the living areas. That's correct. And, uh, and on top of that, um, since we have this nice picturesque, you know, window, uh, sliding doors, um, if you're cooking and you wanted to bring stuff to the outside because there is... Uh, a very large covered terrace that has a formal outside alfresco dining plus uh, a lounge area so you'll be able to directly be able to bring the food in or even slide the door right above uh, or below the um, the, the hood uh, oven. Or you can also cook outside. There you go. Ah, I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> it does have a full outdoor kitchen uh, that has its own fridge. It has a barbecue. It has a sink in a large area where you can put all your uh, food and, and prep items. And the last thing there, it looks like it's wood, but it's actually stainless steel that looks like wood. That's interesting because when you have, you actually have a salt uh, pool and the salt is very corrosive. So all the metal uh, can be affected by that. Ah, that's, that is, that is you're, you're, you're really going deep into it. And, but yes, absolutely, that's something that could happen. But let, let me also bring something up there. So when people, when, when you say a salt system, everyone thinks that the water is salty like the ocean. In, in reality, what, uh, what a salt system is in a pool is you have a, a, a machine that uh, extracts the chlorine from salt. So it's, the water is not salty. Uh, it's actually much smoother or easier on your skin instead of chlorine. Because chlorine right. obviously is you know, used to fight the bacteria and all this stuff, and that's what you put in the pool so it doesn't turn green. But having a chlorine or a salt system, what it's doing is it's also introducing chlorine, but being broken down from the salt so it's easier on your on skin. Your skin, on your eyes, it doesn't hurt. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, so now let's go to the, to the bedrooms. You can see like Master has a really... Uh, I would say you can fit the king easily and also on the Jack and Jill you can fit big uh, like big beds. That's, yes. Uh, so it was all, all this property in particular um, is, is focused on uh, a party of, of, of more than two. So a family. And 
that the main target because it has the three guest bedrooms, two of them that have uh, Jack and Jill, like you mentioned, but it still has two sinks, a very large uh, shower and uh, in access from both the bedrooms. And, uh, but then it has also a diff uh, an ensuite that has its own bathroom and an access to the outside. So important to note that the bedrooms are actually, all of them can actually fit king size beds and they're designed to where not, not only for children, but you know, for even ad adolescents and uh, you know, teenagers, you know, adults. And the main bedroom being across from all that. So I suppose that the split floor plan um, has, a, right now it has, actually has a California king size with uh, the nightstands, dual closets, soaking tub, stand-up shower with four different uh, water sources. It's it's impressive, but it was focused on um, having a large party be able to live here forever, to see it as a forever home. Forever home. Mm -hmm. The design, I mean, it's very clean. It feels very modern, but at the same time, it's very warm. It feels like a, like a home. You just have that home feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they were able to do it with a lot of clean details. Mm -hmm. Clean details and very strategic uh, because the person that uh, put the work into this house, uh, into this home, has a lot of knowledge from what works in properties that are of a much higher uh, value. So they incorporated all those items that they know are important uh, they will for, elevate the, the correct to, to the bring house. the status of, of this property uh, to that forever feel that we're we're talking about. Just having you know warm components, the exposed beam, uh, the uh, light uh, European white oak floors, uh, in with very neutral tone colors that um, will last forever. It's not trendy. This used to you mentioned me that something very interesting. This used to be like the farm from the people in the north. And this area, actually, where we are located, you don't have local traffic, the only local traffic, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as, as I was mentioning earlier, all this area here about 90 years ago used to be uh, hunting grounds uh, for the people from up north. So it used, this used to be their vacation homes, basically. So all the designs or most of the homes were designed for temporarily uh, quarters, not permanent. So that's why you see homes that only have one bathroom or a lot of them have two bathrooms, which if you think about it, two bathrooms is just not enough for a forever home because one bathroom is usually in the main bedroom. The second one is servicing the guest bedroom, but then there's no powder room or anything for the guest. So all these are things that were not designed, they're not designed usually for, you know, secondary home, somewhere where someone's just going to go there for hunting or for uh, getting away from the snowy winters back in the, you know, early 1900s. So this house really stands apart and all that because it does have three and a half bathrooms, large closets, which is something that you couldn't find, you know, back then. And built-in closets and the two garage. Definitely, it's, a, it's an amazing property. Uh, and it just hit the market. You actually just list it and we have people coming all day. So I think it's very hot listing. Uh, if you want more information or you want to have a private tour on this property, just let us know. Juan, thank you very much again. <laughs> thank you for having this beautiful listing. Pleasure to have you guys here and um, contact him if you have any questions. Thank you.